did you know that nearly a third of children know how to use a mobile phone before they can even talk? What's more, according to YouSwitch, one in ten five-year-olds actually owns one. So is five too young, or is it just a sign of the times? Lucy McDonald thinks it's ridiculous to allow your child to have a mobile phone at such a young age, as children should either be with their parents or at school. Whereas Lizzie Cundy thinks, for safety reasons, it's the must-have gadget, no matter what your age. I can feel a ding-dong <laughs> most definitely <laughs> coming on. Let battle commence! Well, I think mobiles are essential for your child to have, just for pure safety. As a mother, as a single mum that works hard, I need to know where my boy is. So, for instance, he had football practice yesterday, got cancelled because of the rain, I would have known unless I got a text, a simple text. Safety, it's essential. It's essential. Well, we're talking about children as young as five. I cannot see how they would possibly be left on their own and sort of think, oh, goodness, I must call mum up. I'm on my own in the street. Uh, I need some help. I just think that... Yeah. <laughs> but, but for most young children, if I said to my five- and eight-year-old, would you like a mobile phone, they'd say, yes, of course. They'd also like to sit and watch Disney films and eat chocolate all day. The only reason they want a mobile phone is not for security. It's because of the social side of the apps and the games and but getting surely on the you've got two girls and now if you're heaven forbid your little girl went missing the police can track your little girl with a mobile phone the mobile phone is essential for safety and me as a mum even if i know my boys are outside playing football i know they're safe because they've got a phone i'd be worried sick if they didn't have a mobile well, i think that's part of the whole kind of the 21st century idea of kind of really namby pamby and cosseting your children and actually making them paranoid you know darling you've got this mobile phone because it's got a tracker so if you get taken by somebody. No, but it's not being I just paranoid. don't think that's it's the right way to go. It's a simple text to know your child is OK. And but what know... about your child being mugged for its mobile phone here? So when it's yes, but, yeah. listen, Alan, the phones aren't like in your day. They're not the size of a brick. They're slim. What do you mean and... in mine? <laughs> 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 when you were a youngster, they were big, these large phones. Now they're very slim and little, they can pack them away in their and bag. And they're more and they're stealable. Bottom. No, but it's not a Gucci bag, it's a telephone. And it's so important that you know where your son or, or daughter is. is and it's a simple text or a phone call. And it's beneficial. I... And also, I think it brings your child responsibility, because they know to text well, you. I, I completely disagree, actually. I think it completely abnegates responsibility, because they know that their mum's always going to be there on the end of the phone. I mean, sometimes at school, I know my daughter's got a test, or she's having a bit of a hard time with her peer group and I'd love to text her and go oh baby are you okay but actually it's good to know she's at school she's fine and it, there's this kind of idea of just really molly coddling your but children I'm, I'm and you, you, on their entire playtime spent doing this you know exactly. still call it playtime no, yeah. no, you, you monitor I mean I monitor the phones with my boys and always have done but I think it's fantastic that my son knows how to work the iPhone I couldn't use yeah, it but not all day me. every day no not all day every day but in the modern life we don't we, we're not in the 1980s anymore no, no, we're in a modern of course world we it's high tech we all need to have the mobile all the research all the academic research, not research by mobile phone companies, shows that we don't know the effect of technology on children. And there's that great poem, I don't know if you know it, but it goes something like, um, about we, we need time to stand and stare and relax. What is this life you're full of care? If we, we have, have no, no time, time to stand, to stand, stand and, stare. and stare. And children these days, they're on gadgets all the time. And when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s, you were out there in the street and you just didn't have all but these... The phones I have to stop you there. Can I just say I the phones give there. you more safety? Because I know my <laughs> boys can play happily and right. have freedom. We've got, got the phone. point, Lizzie. We've We've seen what our guests have had to say, both of them. And at the end of the show, we'll be asking our lovely studio audience for their votes. My thanks for now, though, to Lucy McDonald and Lizzie Cundy. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you. you. You do not need a piece of paper to somehow give some kind of legislation to that commitment. You but isn't, isn't, isn't being married to somebody more than a piece of paper? And you don't mind people opening up a newspaper and seeing you topless, is no, it? No, I don't. I'm so proud of my body that I'm willing to show it off to people.